Hello everyone. Now we all know that the official news has come that class now goes online. So our entire methodology of preparation, our entire practice format, the entire way of studying needs to bring about a change and that change has to be brought quickly so that we do not waste on any time in uh, making ourselves acquainted with this new version of giving the exam. So uh, this is a small session in making you understand what is the change that has been brought in CLAT by the committee and what would be an impact and how you are supposed to prepare yourself, what are the changes that you are supposed to bring in your preparation in order to maintain your level of preparation in order to perform in CLAT the same way as you could have performed before this change was implemented because there are a lot of issues with students reading things online or in a paper format. So let's see what all changes are required. So first of all we will see what are the change that has been brought. Now the official notification has come that it would be conducted online. So the first thing that the core committee has recently announced the next edition to be conducted online. So therefore the online filling of forms will begin on 1st January. You have to take note of the date and as soon as possible fill up the forms. The filling up of the form will continue up till March 31st. So you have a time of 3 months which is a long time but you need to ensure that you fill up the forms as per the requirement. The date of the exam has also been announced. So the CLAT 2015 is going to be conducted on 10th May 2015 and the committee has increased the test centers also. Initially there were 20 now they have made it 28 that is 8 more centers than last year. So there has been an increase in the test centers as well. Now let's have a closer look at the facts. So what is the basic change? What is the change about which so much of news is around? The basic change is the change in the interface. Initially it was supposed to be on a paper pencil based format. Now it has changed to a computer based format. Okay, now what is this computer based test? It is this not a very huge difference. The only change is that you will be served questions on the screen. Just like you make a research online, there's not much of a change. Just that when you tick the questions or you circle the OMRs on the sheet, but over here now you would just have to tick, click the right option on the screen and you also have the option of going back and forth so you can go to the next question see what the next question has come back on the previous question so these options would be available to you now what is the format this is something which is not yet known the format we're not sure of because that has not been disclosed it can either be like a huge sheet which you can scroll up and down okay it either it can be in this format or the questions might appear to you one by one so that you click on one question you answer one question and then the next would appear or rather it can be in the form of one huge entire sheet which can just keep scrolling up and down for answering the questions so this might be the format but we're not sure which one of it would be now let's see how what sort of impact it's going to make in our preparation and what are the changes that we're supposed to bring in our preparation strategy so the first and the most important thing is you have to get comfortable with computers there are a lot of students who are not comfortable reading online who would prefer a uh, printed version any day but now because the scene is changing because the exam is going to be online so one has to make his or herself comfortable with the computer so 
what would be the first impact the first impact can be fatigue you this difficult to sit in front of the computers and taking a test okay because of the strain in the eyes because of constantly looking into the screen lo losing concentration so you can get fatigue how can you prepare for the same by building up the appetite for sitting long hours on computers so now start sitting or start working on the computers try giving more time so that you get a habit of sitting for long durations on the computer start preparation early to get used to the new format so now the news is out why wait for anything let's start with the preparations as early as possible and get used to this new format what's the best way that we can start with short tests so try giving short tests okay so that you start with a ample duration of sitting in front of the computer and then slowly move to longer ones so that at the end of maybe a couple of months you are in a position that you do not have any problem sitting for 2 hours at a stretch in giving a a test and the best way would be a lot of exercising that means a lot of practicing on the computer screen on the online mechanism because this would give you the stamina to handle the fatigue it's like going to a gym and toning up your muscles so the more you work out the more you practice the more the better you would become okay now let's look at the second impact what's the second impact that is navigation it's very easy when you have a booklet so that you can flip through the pages okay but now this gets a little difficult so if you're not comfortable with navigating on a computerized exam you will get bogged down while taking the test so how would you prepare you would learn the nuances of using the computer mouse for scrolling and clicking so you have to make yourself comfortable by using the mouse as much possible for scrolling and clicking so that there's no problem while you're attempting the exam that day okay now performance parameters first impact would be the concept learning is there going to be any change in this no because the concepts are going to remain the same you just have to get the basics right the preparation as per the concepts would just be the same focus on the basics and one should not waste time doing very difficult and complex problems so you should not waste your time in this do a reasonable standard problems do not waste time on very difficult problems okay and make maximum use of the questions available on test gym now this comes as a boon to you because all you people have a account of my lst please go there now you do not even have an option of practicing in any other manner so now you have your test gym ready go out there and start solving the questions which are giving over there second thing now this would be a problem reading speed and comprehension because people are comfortable in varied formats when it comes to reading and comprehending things so reading on a computer screen may lead to a serious drop in a candidate's normal reading speed okay and for those students who are not comfortable at all who, who do not work on computer or do do not spend much time on the computer so it would be taxing for them so we suggest that start using uh computers as much as you can so that you become comfortable on working in a on a computer okay then second thing reading speed your reading definitely gets affected you're not able to comprehend what's written there and moreover your reading speed is also affected and the speed is a critical component in the clad because we know that there is a lot of reading thing to do okay there's legal rc then there's logic then there's legal so you have majority of your sections which require a lot of reading so you definitely need to work upon your reading speed so how are you going to prepare for the same solve more tests online okay so that you smoothen your transition from paper to computer medium okay so solve whatever test you want to solve try solving as many tests as possible online so that you get accustomed to solving in an 
uh, online manner. Then, even when you're reading newspaper, you're reading anything, use online material. Okay, you read e-paper, e-books. So this will help you in reading quickly and comprehending faster. Then, last thing, as I already told you, practice as many questions as possible, which are given on the test gym. So this will enhance your uh, reading speed it will enhance your comprehending part next problem is that of your time management you have to manage your time because this is the first time you would be giving an entrance test online you're still not accustomed to do this so you really need to manage your time so the strategy would remain the same because the time remains the same you have still have two hours so you need to uh, strategize initially uh, what would be the pattern in which you would be attending the paper okay you should start practicing by short attempting short tests okay so initially practice short tests section wise then start attempting full length tests another thing try different machines every time you are working or attempting a mock don't make yourself comfortable with one particular laptop or one particular desktop okay you never know you might get a desktop at the center that you would be going you might get a laptop you never know so you need to do this you need to do all the reading and practicing on different machines on different desktops so that you are comfortable in working on any kind of desktop or a laptop that comes in front of you okay so do as much of practice as possible on different computer systems then Another impact, a huge impact would that be of do it or leave decision, okay? Initially when you had a booklet, you could just flip through the pages and initially decide what you would be uh, doing and what you would not be attempting. Now, scanning through the paper becomes a very difficult, it's almost impossible. You cannot go one, you cannot scroll through the entire sheet or you cannot skip one questions one by one to see which would you would which questions you would attempt and which you will not attempt so now this is not possible so you have to be very quick whether you want to do the question or you want to leave the question then you need to start preparing or the strategy that you need to form that you have to do the tests section wise okay make yourself ready for a particular section that which section you would attempt first so that when you're doing a section you can do the entire section at one go now simulation again taking a test on a computer and taking a test sitting in your uh, classroom when in a paper uh, pencil format or Taking a mock test sitting in your home is a completely different thing. Now, experience says, as we know, but as we have uh, get to know from other people, that taking a test in a simulated environment, that is in a virtual environment, on an online format, this reduces your score by a significant margin. It's not even a slight margin, but a significant margin. So it's very important that we make ourselves accustomed to the new format of uh, taking tests secondly make sure that you have sufficient tests outside home to gauge your performance better so now because you have to make do all your practice online so mostly you would be doing it at home sitting at home with your laptop so make sure that after you have attempted some questions please go out maybe in cafes maybe in your friends place or try using as many machines and may try taking these tests in different environment so that you're able to assess your performance better and uh, if you do not experience this if you do not experience a proctored environment that is a, a different environment in uh, in on a virtual format then you would be at a serious disadvantage because this is something that you have to get used to before going out there for the final examination so please take sufficient tests outside your home as well then 
analysis you might not remember all the questions because now you would not be taking back any question paper along with you so whatever you recall that is all you have for analysis so there would be a very limited scope for analysis remaining now and anything to counter this impact there is nothing that you can do about it whatever you recall well and good otherwise nothing can be done about it so these are the impacts okay and the corresponding preparation strategies to tackle those impacts and at last we can say that we know that there is a change and be aware of the change be aware of the impacts that are possible and take it as an opportunity take it as a challenge it is not much of a challenge because uh, most of us are accustomed to spending time on the computer spending time on the internet so it's not that difficult a challenge also but still take it as an opportunity and attempt it now coming down to students who are already enrolled with lst everything goes good for them because at the right time getting all the inputs would help you prepare in a better manner as you know cl has always been a leader in training students for various online competitive tests because all these tests have always been online so cl already has an understanding of how to tackle an online test so you will get the best of the format the best of the practice online okay then online tests are not new for students because you have been doing your test gym that is something which is not new for you students who have been continuously attempting test gym they would have a familiarity with this uh, format then uh, for last 8 years our mock test have also been provided mock test and sectional test have also been provided for the students online if you do not give your mock test on the omr you have uh, an option to go and give your mock test online and other sectional tests otherwise also have been given online so this is not something new for students who have uh, been regularly attempting these questions okay and you have a 24/7 access to the 5000 practice questions on test gym so you already have that much amount of questions on the test gym you can attempt those on various subjects you have different types of question different formats of questions so 5000 is not a small amount go out there and attempt all these questions now what is the advantage for the lst you have the mock test and you have the analysis again you get an all india percentile ranking so you have an understanding of how you stand at the uh, level the competition level then comparative analysis of students performance in different tests so you can have an understanding of how well you are improving you can compare your previous tests and the tests coming up then in my lst you have your academic zone quizzes tests all these things are available over there so you can just go attempt these questions you have online discussions also so you can prepare yourself better okay and we even have a proactive presence on facebook so even if you're not going anywhere you can doubt post your queries on uh, fb you can have a discussion on fb so even we have a presence at that platform as well so this gives you an understanding of how to tackle the new format the new way of doing the questions the online method so i hope these inputs that we have given the entire preparation strategy the changes that would be there which you have explained would be helpful and play an active role in your change in the strategy that you would be making from the earlier one to the now new online mode so thank you and please prepare accordingly